what is going on everyone badger here Be sure to like and sub and let's get into this the copening has begun uh and just really it just means it's continuing because i swear to god even though they've been about different games the past couple articles about uh concord and firewalk studios they just remind me of covering dustborn and tales of kinsara zao and uh now with dragon age i just feel like i'm talking about uh assassin's creed odyssey and star wars outlaws where the, oh, it's releasing it's coming out no one wants it buggy looks bad and or just is not what players wanted and now we're getting cope from the ceo uh andrew wilson claiming that it has breakout potential meaning it's not gonna break out but it has potential to break out and remarks that do sound oddly similar to ubisoft's regarding star wars outlaws who of course is super underselling and they are apparently right now have like a task force uh trying to get that game give it the glow up that it should have had before it even released so that for de december for christmas and gift seasons and all that um, when people have vacation uh they think maybe they can turn it around but good luck with that good luck with that so wilson uh wilson sharing his optimism that the game will perform well said it's an amazing time at ea <laughs> yeah it's very amazing it's an amazing time at ea and in two days we will launch dragon age the veil guard it's been 10 years since we launched its predecessor game of the year winner dragon age inquisition which i like it it's fine but it still was a lot less Dragon Age than the previous one, which was a lot less Dragon Age than the previous one, which was the first one. And yeah, the fact that much like Dra excuse me, much like Alan Wake, where I've waited 10 years to find out what happens to Alan in the dark place and blah, 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 blah. And then I'll never really get that answer because the story all got subverted by Saga Anderson. I now really probably never going to get the actual story of uh, the Dread Wolf of uh, Solus. Uh, because even if you go and you watch, we find out one of the two banal endings that pay no real attention to your character and connection. It's not going to be what it would have been under the original writers who are also now criticizing this, the David Gators, uh, early critic success, or excuse me, early critic scores are strong shill critic scores like IGN early critic scores are strong and reflect the high quality depth and detail in niche uh, action adventure we expect Dragon Age to be a great example of how our blockbuster storytelling engages and connects fans in a truly unique ways and we've seen the multiple screenshot I can't look at them again forgive me for it but you can go watch the other Dragon Age video of just every conversation is about oh, this character didn't feel themselves in this body, and this one uses this pronouns, and it looks like something one of us would edit to, like, meme on it or make it, but it's so on the nose that we, much like The Onion, you don't even have to, it's it's not parody. It's the actual reality. Uh, you can see here, uh, Wilson was asked by Raymond James Financial Group, uh, an analyst, or analyst uh i've seen some very strong reviews so far but as you can tell what drives that kind of breakout success we've seen in some single player fantasy games in the last couple of years how do you feel that veilguard might compare along those lines he says i think veilguard is a breakout potential again 10 years ago dragon ink just gonna talk about what they did 10 years ago not talking about the people that are actually reviewing it who are saying that this is just a god of war 2018 clone and not even a good one at that that the characters all look play-doh plastic have no emotion there's no gravitas there's no this was a grim gritty I, i'm not gonna say realistic but unfortunately it was, it was grim gritty real even though it had fantasy it was like it was like lord of the rings but even more hardcore the, the dark spawn are actual straight up monsters there's no way you're, you're gonna even if you adapted this it brings a power gonna be thinking the dark spawn we were marrying and having kids they are straight up demons straight up demons corrupted men uh, anyway, the whole thing is that has moved more and more away. And now when you've got this essentially cartoon plastic game, yeah, it ain't going to be what we wanted to. And then this is just a whole bunch of him coping through it. I think we get the idea. Uh, very much what we saw with Star Wars Outlaws. Where they're like, no, no, it's great. It's got a lot of potential, even though no one is buying it. It sold millions less uh, than previous uh, units. Um, and then this just goes all on top of other uh, actual gamers, YouTubers, people like Neon Knight and uh, others who got early review copies of it. And they're just like, this ain't the one.
this ain't the one if you've never played one before and you just have nothing else to play you might find something in it but for most people certainly for dragon age fans yeah not one for us not made for us another casualty of a beloved ip being turned basic bitch to a who unfortunately appeal to this mythical group for modern gaming audience uh yeah anyway all that sacrifice to the message so yeah that's where we are anyway let me know what you think about all this be sure to like share and sub if you have done that thank you if you're gonna do that thank you and well bye